I won't be recommending that. I have a confession to make. I'm a baked oats virgin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be testing three baked oats recipes. I've never made baked oats before. I wanna know what all the fuss is about. So I'm gonna make chocolate baked oats, Biscoff baked oats, apple and cinnamon baked oats for, you know, a bit of a healthier option. Let's see whether they're any good. Okay, so baked oats. The first thing we need to do is grind down the oats. So I've got this. Nice jar of oats. Apparently you have to have rolled oats. Apparently these are rolled oats. <laughs> Don't forget to click the like button if you do enjoy this video. It will really help me out. So, without further ado, um, I need, I think I'm gonna try a different method. And I'm actually gonna do 30 grams of oats. And then I'm gonna put 10 grams of ground almonds in just to make my mum happy really because almonds are just good for you aren't they and they have a lot of calcium and protein in them and my mum always thinks I don't get enough calcium and protein so we're going to put some ground almonds in mum just for you so 30 grams of this oh 10 grams of this they're just ground almonds had them in my cupboard from some baking from a while ago that you have to whiz up apparently. So we're gonna put it in my trusty, oh God, this is gonna go everywhere. No, bad idea. I'm gonna put it in my trusty blend active. Oh, very pleased with that. There you go, I can recommend the blend active. That worked excellently. Then what do I do? What am I, what am I even doing first? What are we doing first? We're doing apple and cinnamon, we're doing Let's go chocolate. Chocolate, we're going chocolate first, okay. This in there. So when I was doing my research for these baked oats, basically there's a few ingredients you can sort of swap in and out. Basically the milk, the egg, and the banana. So some recipes will have a banana instead of egg, some will have eggs instead of banana, some will have milk instead of egg. We're gonna see which combination seems to work best. I think for the chocolate, we're gonna go for milk and egg, no banana. We need 60 ml of milk. 60 milliliters of milk. Ah. So I did hear actually that you can measure milk in grams. Why don't I do that? 60. Very clever. One egg. Go in the bowl. Some honey or maple syrup. My maple syrup's mouldy, so we're going for honey. I think I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of honey. A little drop of vanilla essence, apparently, for extra tastiness. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, which I actually think now that I should have put that in with the oats and the almonds. Oh, I can never get that. There we go. I find these lids so tricky. That's in, and then, because it's chocolate, cocoa powder, a tablespoon? Yeah, tablespoon, if I can get the lid off. There we go. This is half, so I'm putting two of these in. Two. Oh, why can't I get that back on? This has got everything in it now, so do we think I blend it? Should I have just added it all in the blender? Maybe it should all be in the blender. Let's see what mixing it does. Okay, I think this is okay. I think the mixing has done it. I think next time I might put it in a blender, but we're all right here, really. So, that just goes into your little dish. In there we go. You can put a bit of chocolate chips in, that's what we want. Got some buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it goes in the oven at 204. Goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Right, whilst that one is cooking in the oven, we're gonna move on to the apple and cinnamon. I'm quite excited about this one. This is my healthiest one, but I love apple and cinnamon, so I'm all for it. This time, I'm gonna try and make it all in the blender. I'm gonna stick with the basis, same basis as the other one. 30 grams of oats. 10 grams of ground almonds. Let's make it up to 40. Half a teaspoon 
the baking powder. So that's all the dry ingredients. Is it? No, cinnamon. Come on, out of my kitchen. I'm gonna guess, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Maybe too much, who knows, there we go. And then that's all the dry ingredients. So that is gonna go in my whizzer. Whiz, whiz, a rooney. Whiz, whiz, woo. A rooney. Not again. That's all whizzed up. Hooray. Let's try just milk for this one. 60 ml of milk. Whoa. Ah! Too much, oh well. Some vanilla. Some honey. Half a teaspoon of honey. We're gonna whiz, 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 woo. And then we just got to add some apple chunks into it. Why are there two stickers on this apple? Cut some little chunks of apple. You can peel the apple, but let's be real, we're talking about speed here. There's a need for speed. I think that might be enough, you know. I'm just gonna have to eat the rest of this. This is gonna go into here. Ugh. To be honest, there's not a lot there. Maybe I should have chosen a smaller dish. Put the apple in, and this going in the oven, 20 minutes. They are now both in the oven cooking. I'm gonna do a taste test at the end, see which one's best. But right now, we're making baked oats number three, Biscoff baked oats, which, which has gotta be the best one, surely. I mean, anything Biscoff is the best, isn't it? This time, we're gonna go for a banana. So I'm gonna mash the banana first. Mash up! Oh, who do I think I am? I just thought that the banana one would really go with the Biscoff, and I only really had one very ripe banana. So the rest are far too green still, so. 30 grams of oats. 10 grams of almonds and of course you can add in like your favorite um protein powder or whatever it is but if you're like me and you just think that's gross um then that's why i'm adding the almonds in for some extra protein and goodness and stuff baking powder honey milk and again you can put any milk in you want vanilla then we're going to add in our banana if anyone's looking for a healthy dessert snack on another note Banana, just chop some banana up and give yourself a spoon for the biscoff and put a little bit of dip, sort of dip the biscoff in the, uh, the banana in the biscoff. <sighs> so good, so good. It's kind of like banoffee pie. Mm, delicious, right. That looks like a better consistency, if I'm honest. The other one's looks a bit wet. <coughs> so about that. Has anyone else got hay fever already? So I'm just gonna put, I don't know, maybe that's a bit much, but I don't really care. But a bit like a melt in the middle is my idea. And then I'm just gonna put that in the oven and hope for the best. Here we go. Okay, all right. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. They're out of the oven. The chocolate one definitely looks the best. Ooh, yeah. The apple one. <laughs> Doesn't look the best. The Biscoff one, honestly, I just got bored waiting for it to cook. It's all gone back in on itself. It's not, it's not a good look. Here goes, right, I am gonna go chocolate first. It's the first one that went in. We're gonna go in the order that we went. And I actually think it might be the order of success as well. I decorated this with an extra five chocolate buttons on the top, cause you know, we all need some extra chocolate in our lives. Yum, do you know what? It looks quite moist. That is not bad. I mean, mm, okay. If you get a bit with chocolate, it's lovely. If you get a bit without chocolate, it's really boring, to be honest. In taste of anything. Essentially, you're gonna have to eat a lot of chocolate with this, which is gonna make it very unhealthy, but it's still tasty, but I don't know. I'm not as impressed as I thought I might be, but when you do get a bit of chocolate, it is pretty darn good. I need a palate cleanser. We're going for the apple and cinnamon. Okay, we're not sure about this. Ah, uh, maybe. Mmm. Do you know what? 
that's really nice. I think there's a little bit too much cinnamon in there, so I would put maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon in next time. It's quite claggy, like it kind of gets stuck in your mouth. I think the texture is not as good as that one, so mm, it's way too sticky. It really gets all stuck in your mouth. Palette cleanser. The last one, and this is what I thought was gonna be <gasps> the decoration. This is still quite hot, this one. I just don't think it's cooked. It looks awful. Verdict is, it's really not cooked. Oh, it's the banana. That's why. Okay, so if you put a banana in, it takes a lot longer to cook. That's what we've got to. I'm gonna have a bit of the like edge bit. The middle is literally raw. Mm. That is good. This is actually the best tasting bit. The verdict is in. So, if I were to make baked oats again, I would do the chocolate one, but I would put maybe half a banana in there. I think a whole banana is far too much. Like this is literally, in the bowl, it's literally slop. Banana always makes things take ages to cook, doesn't it? But that was in for half an hour, so yeah, that is gonna need longer to cook. So I wouldn't bother with that because who has time for that in the morning? Who gets up early enough to leave to cook their breakfast for like an hour? That's too claggy, the taste is great, but it's claggy and not nice on the mouth. This is a winner in my eyes. And I really didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. I'm a baked oats virgin no longer. Let me know if you think you've got the perfect baked oats recipe or if there are any that you think look really good because I would like to try some more. This is definitely, chocolate's definitely the best by far. But the most, the main thing I'm impressed with and surprised by is they're not dry. I really thought they were going to be dry as anything but, so there we go. That's my baked oats experiment done. Thank you so much for watching my video this week. I will see you next week with another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.